Welcome to a very serious video about the five top Christmas tree decorating mistakes that I have seen. Are you ready to jump in and make sure that you're not making these five mistakes? Because let me tell you, they are detrimental to your fabulous tree turning out fabulous. Okay, before we get started, first question of the video is what is your favorite Christmas song? Why am I pointing at you? I don't know. Look how perfectly my nails match this new sweater. This is perfect, you know? Make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you haven't already, and make sure you thumbs up this video because this is gonna be a video that helps so many of you to make sure that you're not making these mistakes on your tree. Okay, are you ready to get started? Let's jump on in. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Number one biggest mistake that people make is not fluffing their tree. They pull a faux tree out of the box, they plop it on a stand, and they just put some ornaments on it and that's it. It looks like a dehydrated, suffocated tree when it's not fluffed properly. And nobody wants to look at a tree and think of dehydration or suffocation. Also, when you fluff a tree, you're opening up spaces for ornaments to hang. You're creating room for your beautiful things to be featured. And when you are a squished tree, you just don't have a lot of space. So open it up, straighten out the branches, fluff them and make them look beautiful uh, and you'll be good to go. Thing number two that goes wrong with tree decorating is when it comes to do ribbons, people take ribbon and they just wrap it around the tree like it's a mummy. You don't wanna mummify your tree. You wanna take the ribbons and you want to weave them into the tree, attach them to the branches, weave them back out of the tree and do it in a diagonal pattern. Adding bows to your tree so that your ribbons are all connected. That is how you kind of create a cohesive ribboned tree if you're adding ribbons to your tree. The third mistake I see often is putting big ornaments, big balls on the ends of your tree branches. You wanna A, put the right size ornaments based on the base, like the lower part of the tree can handle bigger ornaments, middle can handle middle size ornaments, and the top can handle small ornaments. And it's a really great recommendation to put your ornaments into the center of the tree and fill some of those gaps and those holes rather than just dripping big ornaments on the tips of the branches. And then if you have any cutesy ornaments that are not balls, they're more cool shapes or they're oblong or they're a snowflake, those are really great to use out on the tips of the trees, especially if you're using icicles. Those look really great on the ends. The fourth thing that I see a big mistake people make is overdoing it. So you don't wanna overdo it. You don't wanna just cram every single ornament. Now, I have been guilty of this. As you go along in life, you collect different ornaments that you love, whether they're decorative, whether they're sentimental, whether it's for a child or someone gave it to you or it's from a family vacation. Just because you have it doesn't mean you have to use it. Sometimes we use too many ornaments and we shove them at all in our tree and our tree just looks blah, it looks like too much. This also happens when you're decorating a bookcase or you're accessorizing a shelf or what have you. Sometimes you need to edit. You need to put things in, step back and go, huh, I want that there, that there, move that onto the top and that into the tree a little more. Step onto the right, step onto the left. You're not just decorating a flat surface. You have a spherical surface. This is a round tree, so kind of stepping around to the right, stepping around to the left. Those perspectives are all gonna help you to make sure that you are editing your tree so it's not too overdone, it's perfectly balanced, and you've, everything's got a buddy. And the fifth mistake I see very often is not adding extra lights. Like I've said so many times, adding fairy lights to your tree really adds dimension. It adds that extra flair of magic, Christmas magic to your tree. Now, can you decorate a beautiful tree without using fairy lights? Yes. But do fairy lights make your tree extra special and magical during Christmas? Yes. So if you wanna have a wonderfully decorated, beautiful, magical Christmas tree, then make sure you add a couple strands of fairy lights to your tree. Make sure they slowly twinkle in and out. And you'll be very happy at night when the sun goes down and you have a very dreamy, moody, pulsating tree. What's another word for pulsating glowing? 
glowing tree. You may have um, committed some of these Christmas tree crimes, as we've called them before. Uh, and if you have, don't worry. You can have a get out of jail card and you can fix those Christmas tree mistakes this year by implementing some of the tips I've given you. Make sure you watch some of our other videos. We have 10 plus years of Christmas videos on YouTube. So if you wanna see other styles, other years that we've done, make sure you go back and watch our Christmas playlists and enjoy the Christmas magic of decorating because we sure do, we love it, and I'm excited to see your trees. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, Merry Christmas, and be sure to watch the home tour and all the other videos we have. Mwah! I will see you in the next Christmas video. Bye-bye.